just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Hello, it's much later. It's seven o'clock at night and it's just me and Savannah that are home. Tyreek is doing whatever Tyreek does. And then Cheyenne is at um, her cousin's house. So Savannah's doing her homework and I'm just out here being really bored. But I am just going over like my lecture notes for tomorrow. Um, it's oral embryology and histology so I'm just going over stuff like that and looking on my list here for the calendar just see what I'm going to be doing for them so I'm preparing for that other than that I am just sitting here relaxing not doing a whole lot um, for dinner I just had a quesadilla um, it's kind of like fend for yourself night tonight. We have those a lot. Not a lot. Mm, kind of. During the week we do. But on the weekends I will cook. So, yeah. Just a whole lot of nothing right now. So, you guys, remember the bruise that I had when I went to the emergency room that time and I showed you guys? Look, it's almost gone. Almost back to normal. So, we are actually watching Halloween. And it's nighttime. Can I get the remote? You can get the remote. Boston, I'm scared. Are you going to protect me? No? Good right. morning, everyone. It is only Tuesday. Getting ready for work. I have about 20 minutes before I leave out. I don't know how bad I want to call in. I'm not sick or anything. Just having one of those moments to where I want to stay home. I don't know me. That's me every day. Even when I really like my job, it's still work. I want to stay home. But if I stay home, what would I do? Watch Netflix all day? And not get paid for it? Yeah. So it's 7 o'clock. I have maybe 10 or 15 minutes before I leave. But I'm really having one of those moments, you guys, to where it's like, should I call in? I'm gonna go. But... I don't want to go. I just want to stay home. Savannah's all stay home. I can't do that. I gotta go to work. Boston like completely inhaled his food. I swear he took like three bites and was done. And his bowl was like completely full. And now he's licking the bowl. Boston, there is no more in there. You're done, sir. So it's much later. Um, I was gonna tell you guys. So we just watched a video about the Dolan twins and Savannah's super sad because if any of you know about the Dolan twins and the only reason why I know about them is because of Savannah and they do uploads every Tuesday I guess they've been doing it for five years how long have you been watching them it's been like three years right yeah so they came on and their video was about an hour long and they don't want to do weekly uploads anymore um, they felt like it was forced so they're just gonna take some time and do videos when they feel it. Yeah, so Savannah's really sad because they won't have a video anymore every week. You're gonna be okay, Savannah. I know. I know, tell everyone you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, she was really super sad, but it's gonna be okay. And there is no more food. All right, you guys, so it is Wednesday. I'm at work, I'm about to go in. Let's go, hope this day gets over with fast. I'm not feeling very well, but I'm here. So let's go. Printing out what I need for lecture today and then going to class. Okay, I look shiny. We're in Kaiser's after work and when I say we, I mean me and Savannah. She's here today for a checkup. Um, waiting on the doctor. Tell them hi, Savannah. Hi. 
are you about to do a TikTok in the doctor's office? Her and that TikTok, I'm telling you guys. Hey, if they exactly if they walk in and you were mid like dance, yeah. So this is the exam room. Just a tiny little room, and no personal information is in here. That's why I can show you guys this room. I think I heard them call your name. I made it back home I changed because I'm actually about to go out to the store so I planned on coming home I still have homework to grade for the students so I came home planning this relaxing evening because I got stuff in the mail from Amazon which I will show you guys later and I'm all excited and walked in the house and Boston's crate the bottom part of it was like out of his cage and he had pooped in his crate and it wasn't even on that one part that stays inside I don't even know what it is that part that slides in and out that was scooted out so he pooped on my hardwood floor so I was gonna vlog me cleaning it up not letting you guys see the poop but just seeing my reaction to it y'all you would have thought I was doing too much because I was like Ugh! heaving and gagging and everything we opened up almost every window in the house it was disgusting he has poop all on him. He can't come in right now. Savannah has actually has to bathe him. My light's flashing. So yeah, I had already showered, planned on this evening of just coming in and relaxing or whatever. Well, no, I hadn't showered before that happened. What I'm trying to say is after I cleaned that up, then I'm like, okay, let me shower and relax and do what I need to do. Grade the homework. Then realize that we are missing an ingredient for what I got to cook. So I'm about to go back out to the store. So I just changed my battery and even though I have a little while before it actually cuts off, every time the battery flashes I just panic because I just want to hurry up and either say what I have to say or change the battery. So remember I told you guys my strap broke. So I got one from Amazon and it's really thick and this time it has a metal hook right there. My hands are really dry. Um, gotta put lotion on. So I'm gonna put that on now and then I will feel so much safer with my camera okay so sorry for the super close-up but I just wanted to show you guys see on each end of my camera has the metal right there and I just put it in and now I feel a whole lot safer using my camera and granted this can tear as well this can fray and come out of here but at least I have a strap on there so I don't know if you guys remember how I was on the little house on the prairie kick and I bought all nine seasons well the way it ended on the last season wasn't really an end. It was just like life as normal. So I didn't know that. I thought everything was all on the last DVD. But I had to order this one, which is um, three movies on here. And it, it concludes on here. So I will get to see what finally happened to the city, the city, the town of Walnut Grove and stuff like that. So um, I got my camera strap. I got this also and I also got something for my dining room which I will show you guys later. It's so cute. It's actually a planter's box for flowers or whatever you want to plant in it. And it's really for outside but you can use it for indoor as well. And I'm going to use it for indoor so I thought it was actually going to be bigger than that because the picture it looked bigger but it's not so let me show you guys. This is what I ordered and you see on here it looks really big and it does have the dimensions if I scroll down further and I didn't look at that. I'm not disappointed but I'm just saying I thought it was actually going to be bigger than what it is. So I am happy I have it. I am satisfied so I will show you guys. So this is it. This is how it came and I think it looks perfect actually and it just says flowers on each of the bin. So yeah i am satisfied i'm happy um yeah it will go perfect in my dining room and i am going to stack it like it had in that picture so um i did go to the grocery store so i didn't tell you guys the reason why i'm pretty sure boston pooped in his cage he is housebroken so we give him wet dog food as a treat occasionally not every day but he's had it every night for the last four nights and didn't know that but it wasn't good on his stomach and he couldn't wait till we got back to go 
So yeah, we had to clean up a nasty poopy mess. Or let me rephrase that. I had to clean up a nasty poopy mess. So anyway, I'm home. I'm about to grade the papers. Um, and I have dinner in the oven, which is just pizza and wings. I'm not cooking tonight. Um, we're eating later than I want to. It's 10 minutes after 8, and usually we have already eaten dinner by now. But um, Savannah had her appointment, coming home, cleaning that crate up for Boston, and then I had to run a few errands. So, yeah, it just made me behind. So, I'm going to grade these papers and watch one of the final little house on the prairie. Today is Thursday. It is freezing cold. It is very windy outside. And I'm about to go clock in. Last night I had so much. Okay. Usually I have something behind this. That's the reason why it keeps falling. There we go. Still a bad angle, but at least it won't slip. Anyway, last night I had so much homework to grade. So I don't know if I told you guys. I'm down to, I started out with 14, then it went to 13, then it went to 11. And now there are 10 students because they dropped or they couldn't get it together with like financial aid. Or last night's homework, two chapters were due, but when I got home, it's like grading for 20 people because two chapters each. So yeah, I had a really thick folder last night to grade. I'm just getting my stuff ready to go in because I'm about to go in in a minute. My loud children. Anyway, as you can see, it's much later. Got my bonnet on, so it's nighttime. About to go to bed. Um, y'all hear that? I wish I could tell y'all that my house is nice and quiet. No, this is my normal. The insanity. That's my normal. The, my loud children. Anyway, so I couldn't say anything when I was at work or give you guys an idea what's going on. So all of the students. All of the students. <laughs> what? What did she say? You always carry a camera with you. Oh. You go? <laughs> anyway, a lot of the students right now are decorating because it's Halloween, the Halloween month. They are decorating the door and the window for Halloween. And so whoever wins that class gets a pizza party. So that's the reason why you guys see them. Um, well, you guys didn't see them, but I showed you the door that they um, did. They did the Pennywise door. The what is that movie? I'm tired. You guys know when I get tired, my brain, I don't even know why I pick up the camera and talk because I can't even form my thoughts to get it out my mouth. Anyway, um, the clown movie. Yeah, that. So that was their theme. And yeah, I'm so happy because on Saturday, I'm supposed to get my hair braided. So this is going to be, I'm done with these ponytails and I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I got, remember the wood crates that I, gosh, them girls. The wood crates that I showed you guys that I got from Amazon. That Evan doing like she pay somebody rent. Uh, I've always wanted to say Y'all want some kids? I will send you three <laughs> grown Mom, ones. Mom, three of them. Mom, Mom, did you hear? <laughs> After she slept the door, she opened it, she goes, did she come in? <laughs> I got scared. Did she slept when I was younger, and if I would have slammed the door, you would have beat me into five years later. Seriously, y'all yeah, want some kids. <laughs> I got three. They grown. They eat a lot. But, hey, I, I can send them to you. Sale. I didn't say I was selling you. I would give you away. <laughs> I'm not selling kids. I'm giving y'all away. Anyway, what was I saying? The crates that I showed you guys I got from um, Amazon for my dining room. And then... Y'all know I'm doing all this stuff slowly because I'm waiting to find the right things. And plus, I don't know, I'm just waiting and I do it when I feel the moment. Feel the moment? I don't know. I'm tired. I am actually should be ending this really soon. Anyway, I ordered something else from Amazon. It's like a table that's going to, going to go in the dining room in the corner. 
and it has the French script on it, just like the my table runners. I'll show you guys later. I didn't even put it together. It just got delivered and it's still in my dining room. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired and I'm rambling and I'm probably not making any sense. Good night. Yes, it's 3.30 in the morning and I am wide awake. I cannot sleep. So I pull out the camera and talk to you guys. And I gotta be up in three hours for work. I don't know. I should have stayed off my phone, but now I'm wide awake. Good morning. It is Friday. Um, it's almost seven o'clock. I'm going to leave a little bit early so I can go get gas in a car. And of course, now I regret staying up when I woke up at three something. I didn't get to bed till almost five. So I wasn't on my phone though. Okay. I take that back. I was on my phone for a little bit, but I put it down because I'm like, you know what? I just need to go to bed. But then I started watching my little house on the prairie and i'm like it got interesting and because i couldn't fall asleep i got into the show i didn't get back to sleep until almost five o'clock and then my alarm clock went off at 6 30. so here i am tired can't wait to get home to go to sleep but i have errands to run after work so. yeah can i get a large coffee with seven and seven that'll be it Yes. Okay. Should all be there and I, I don't need a receipt. Thank you. You too. Here we go. Bad angle. But okay. And I think I told you guys this before. So when I go to McDonald's and I get their black coffee, I always get um, seven and seven means seven whatever of creamer and seven whatever's of sugar. It may sound like enough, but the creamer is always fine, but the sugar I've seen them when they put it in there it's like it drizzles down and then yeah they do it seven or however many times you ask them to do it but it doesn't even equal to one pack of sugar so I always get seven and seven and then I ask for a couple of packs extra so in case you were wondering no I do not like my coffee like syrup so I don't think I told you guys this and I it was on my mind for like two days but in my neighborhood it was on Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday. Was it on Wednesday? I don't know, anyway, so in my neighborhood, I was driving and Tariq and Savannah were with me, stop sign, and it was the car on my left, it was her turn to go. So, I'm thinking she's going to wait because there's this guy on a bike, um, an older gentleman, and I'm like, okay, well, she's seen him, she's gonna wait till he goes, and then she's gonna go. Well, she proceeded to go, and no, she didn't gas her car up fast, to, but it's still a vehicle. And she hit him. She didn't hit him very hard, but it's still a vehicle. And he flew over the hood of her car, flew off his bike, and that image was just in my head. And my heart dropped. I'm like, oh my goodness. But the guy just popped right up. I'm sure he was okay at the moment because adrenaline, he started moving all his, you know, hands like this and his legs and he was like telling the lady I'm okay I'm okay and she's like no pull over so I was gonna stay but I'm like you know what no at least she didn't hit him and left didn't in that case I would have stayed I would have tried to get her license or whatever and stayed but they were handling it but she was so young and she looked like she was distracted or something so I don't know you guys but yeah it was just that image was just in my head even now I'm wondering I'm like I hope he's okay Enough, you know, sometimes you don't feel things until after the fact. Like when Tariq got hit by a car, he was fine. He skated to school. I think I told you guys this story. Um, actually, I have a story time about this. If you guys want to go back and look at it, you can. But he skated to school. He was fine and called me like or texted me uh, from class three hours later or maybe two hours later and told me, Mom, I got hit and I'm hurt. You know, so yeah, that was very... That was very disturbing to watch, to see someone actually get hit by a car. I'm thankful he didn't fly or anything, she wasn't actually driving, but it's still a vehicle. And it was bad enough to throw him off his bike. I honestly don't see how she did not see him. I don't see how she didn't see him. Cause me and my kids seen him. I thought she was gonna wait on him before she went. Oh, she hit him. 
is criticizing everything that you're trying to believe God for. Just ignore that. That's the spirit of Michael. It's a despising spirit. But don't let go of your praise. And don't let go of your faith. And don't let go of your worship. And don't let go of your shout. I wish I had more than 30 of you that would stand up to hell and say we are about to have revival like we've never seen before. Yes, we got hit, but we're going to hit back in faith. And the gift of faith will carry us from this building into our destiny. Of course, I'm looking for Savannah, and this is where she is with the oh, creepy Halloween stuff. Ew. Why are you over here? You know, we don't get none of this stuff. <gasps> What's talking? Oh. <laughs> I thought one of. Ew, is that a spider? Yes. Like Touch it. Oh, ew, ew, ew. No, no. Yeah. It only turns off when you press it or it goes off on its own. That's creepy. They have to touch every single thing. They got all these things going, y'all. And yes, Tyreek is actually with us. Tyreek, say hi to them. They haven't seen you in like forever. That's all they get. Oh my gosh, these kids are annoying. Do y'all want some kids? Y'all, I am tired. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's not that late, but it feels like it's late. And yes, I'm in my dining room. Um, I bought some stuff for the dining room tonight at Hobby Lobby and then I ordered some things on Amazon. I'm debating whether or not I should show you guys tonight. I might. So let me show you this though. Remember when I got this together and I got this mesh, and I don't know what else you call it, to go over it? Well, it didn't come out the way I thought it would in my mind. So I actually bought some material that's like this. And now that I just thought about it, I probably shouldn't have bought the same one because now they're gonna clash. I don't know, we're gonna see. So I'm gonna put some material over here. And what I technically should do is measure the length of this and the one in the hallway and get like plexiglass or glass to go on top. But we'll see for now. Um, that's gonna be changed in a little bit. And I might as well just show you guys. So. I got this picture on Amazon and it looks like really old and weathered and worn, but um, the frame came from Hobby Lobby. So I picked that up today and I got a table, like an end table. I have to put it together and show you guys. I'm throwing in like the French thing. So I got this from Hobby Lobby as well. So that's just gonna sit over there. What else do I need over here, you guys? Maybe a pop of color, something yellow because I am going to have yellow in here. So yeah, let me, my battery's flashing, let me hang this, put this up, and put this together, and then I'll be back. Okay, yeah, I know my hair is crazy, but I just wanna show you guys what I have done so far. I'm starting to like it. Well, I've been liking it, but I really do like it. So, ignore that. <laughs> Still don't know what to do with it. I think I said that last time. Anyway, that's not going to stay there. That is just there because I don't know what to do with it. And the wood actually cracked, so I'll probably throw that out. And see the planters that I got? I'm going to keep them there. I'm gonna figure out something to put in it. I think that's a good place for it there. What do you guys think? And then over here, that's the picture that I put up. I haven't decided if I'm going to do something like on top, but I don't, I don't want to do too much. So I think I'm just going to leave that as is. This right here, this is the table that I got. And see, it's French script as well. I love this table so much, you guys. And I put this there because eventually, <laughs> I'm laughing because, you guys, I'm going to try a real plant again. It'll probably die, but... I want one that is going to, not a hanging plant, but one of those plants that the leaves hang down. And I just put that there because for lack of a better place to put it as well. And then right here, remember how I had that mesh thing on top? I put this fabric up here and now this clashes because it's like, it's too much. So I'm actually gonna find another place to put those I don't know, but I still put them back there for now. And then the hallway um, where I had this, 
I put some material there as well. So, and that's just the box that the table came in. So yeah, you guys, it's slowly, and I know I need to add more yellow to it to give it that pop of color so it's not just so blah, but it'll get there. And I think I did show you guys this, yes, the Eiffel Tower. I think I will, will I think I'm gonna put like a sunflower or something on it to get bring more color over here. So that's what I've done so far, you guys. What do you think? Are you liking it? I am. I really like that frame though.